Hey guys, it's Nick and today we're going to be checking out this 2024 Range Rover Evoque S. Let's get into it. All right, let's check this out. So the color on this one is Soul Silver Metallic. This is an S, so it's a little more on the base side. It's got the 19 inch wheels wrapped in 235, 55 Pirellis, Scorpion Zeros. I really like the silver. It's not like those really light silvers. It's kind of a darker shade. It's almost got like a little bronze tint to it, but not really. Definitely good looking. I do like the 19 inch wheels on it. The tint looks good on it, privacy glass. I really like how compact this is. If you live in the city, this is the perfect vehicle for you. I mean, if you're parallel parking and dealing with major cities, it's the way to go. It'll be easy to park, fit it in pretty much wherever, and it's still comfy and luxurious. Let's check out under the hood and see what's powering this thing. All right, so under the hood, it's got a two liter turbo, making 246 horsepower, 269 foot pounds of torque. Plenty of power for this thing, definitely gets it up and going up to speed, so not too bad. Let's get into the inside. All right, hopping into the inside is raining, so I'm just gonna hop in here real quick. All right, on that driver door, got your handle, your unlock lock, mirror switches, mirror adjustment, uh, window switches, and your child lock. And a nice little door cubby there. It does have the Meridian sound system, all digital dash. This one does not have the heads up display being an S model. Still have all your media controls on the left and all your cruise control and heated steering wheel on the right. This one does have heated seats. It does not have the cooled seats. Regular rear view mirror, not the clear sight. And this one's got a panoramic sunroof that actually opens. So it's got a shade, and then the glass slides back as well to that halfway point. And then those switches are there. Everyone I've seen get into these always touches this. They think it is a sunglass holder, and it's actually nothing. It doesn't open, it doesn't do anything. It's just there. Um, going down to the screen. I love how simplistic this is. As you can see, there's like no buttons. I mean, you've got the door, steering wheel, screen, shifter. So everything's controlled through here. You've got your climate settings here, temperature, heated seat, fan temp. And then if you hit this side, that's gonna be for the passenger. It is dual zone. Close that out, close that out. Oh. And then just hit the mode button. So you do have your modes right here. So you got your auto brake hold, start, stop, dynamic stability control, hill descent control, and then your driver assistance. I prefer mine on low, actually. Let's do that. Then you got comfort, eco, auto. I like keeping it in auto. Comfort's not too bad either. But yeah, then you hit the little four square here on the screen and that brings up all your apps. So you got navigation, account, seats, climate, Android auto, Apple CarPlay, valet mode, low traction launch, driver assistance. This thing is pretty loaded. I do have the window sticker here next to me. As you can see, base price is $49.9 and this one's got roughly a couple thousand dollars in options here. Out the door, your MSRP total on this one is $55,325. Looks like it's got the cold climate pack, the 19 inch wheels, the silver color, premium, premium interior and protection storage pack. That's gonna be your all weather mats. Rear seat convenience pack, wheel protection pack, and emergency pack. Not too bad. All right, and hopping into the back seat. I am 5'8", like I've always mentioned. I've got a little more leg, leg room in this one. Seats adjusted to how I was driving, I'd say I got about three and a half, four inches between my knee and the backrest. You do have the rear vents and rear heated seats. And that's pretty much it back here. Meridian sound system, there's a little tweeter, window switch, door handle. These seats are really nice, they're perforated down the center. And then you do have the uh, pull down armrest. 
with the cup holders. Yeah, look how beautiful that dash is. Simple, sleek, yet good looking. Let's check out the storage in the rear. All right, trunk space, not too bad. It's pretty decent. I'd say you could fit a couple golf clubs in there. It does have a whole bunch of accessories back here. And then under this carpet here, these come with a spare tire as well, which I know a lot of newer cars nowadays, you don't see that. But this one does have all weather mats, carpeted mats. Your click and hang goes behind the headrests. Looks like that's the uh, first aid kit. Water bottle, keychains, front license plate holder, wheel locks. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty de decent space. And you can uh, fold that seat down if you need more. Got a little plug there. And then a couple hooks on each side here. Check that out. Hang the groceries up. Yeah, overall not too bad. It is a power. So hit that button and it closes right up. Yeah, see you guys on the next one. If you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.